Alright. Alright, Mark. Yo. What will your reaction be if the Panthers select Cam Newton? Surreal. Just be surreal because this is going to be one of the most anticipated drafts in NFL history. And he's... I didn't think anybody could be a bigger name than Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow went... After the pick, between 20 and 25, Cam Newton could go number one. And to come here, you're talking about just completely reinvigorating and revitalizing. This franchise, even when we went to the Super Bowl, even though he was supposed to be, Jake DeLone was never a franchise quarterback. He no. never ended up being no. the guy that we thought he was no. supposed to be. And he, and he was an engaging guy, and the town loved him. But loved you him. want to talk about a guy that to brand yourself with, I mean, for better or for worse, like you say, they're going to brand him. They're going to brand themselves with, with Cam Newton. I mean, if they select Cam yeah. Newton, well, here's the thing: they don't imagine how crazy it's. They don't have a face to the franchise. No, no. I think when you see Carolina immediately Panthers, is the face of the franchise. No doubt. They have, they have a face of the defense, which is decent. Yes, but they don't they have, have a one. face of the offense. You're right. I think Steve Smith You're has right. lost that face I, of the offense. Yeah. Hornet, Hornets coming to town. Panthers coming to town. Those are huge moments nationally for Charlotte. They draft Cam Newton. How big is that? The biggest. Bigger. That, that, bigger than the Hornets. Bigger than the Hornets. Oh, uh, I wouldn't say that. No, that was the first question. Uh, the last two years of uh, Jake DeLong's career, the town hated him. They wanted yeah, because he was Yeah, he was, he was, bad. Bad. He was But old. the first yeah. professional sports franchise being the Hornets, that's huge. That's, that's huge. huge. That'll, yeah, be that, big. That'll be big. Because they didn't, the Hornets didn't, you know what? Yeah, but the first post, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll get into that. That'll be good. All right, uh, Chris Paul has made it public. You see this? On ESPN.com, he's doing an interview today with the Associated Press talking about his involvement with the Jordan brand thing. And he said um, he will think about signing with the Charlotte Bobcats next year. He's not a free agent until a year from now, but has already publicly Just admitted the fact that he, that he will that. think about and what's signing great about that story, with the Charlotte Bobcats. The thing about that story is that in there, in there he says, Michael Jordan walked in and he actually picked yeah. me up and picked me out of the crowd and knew my name. Well, you know, that's a Jordan brand classic. Dude was yeah. 16 years old. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, man, this is huge for him to already Salem's say this. Zone. I mean, you got the playoffs coming up right now that he's got to think about. Yep. And he's already, I'm telling you, MJ, MJ's got to do whatever oh, yeah. means necessary. Well, 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 here's the thing. When you bring Chris Paul, you got to bring back the Hornets as well. And that's something that That'll hopefully be, be in the works. That'll be fun. Now, but let me ask you this. Do you wait a year? Until he's a free agent? Or do you go ahead and trade for him now? What is I, I would trade for him now. Here? What is, I mean, I don't... First of all, what I read from him, I got his quotes. It's yeah. on my notes, too. He didn't. He's, I, he said he'd think about it. No, nah, he said some other stuff, too. I know he said some other stuff, but he said he'd think about it. But right now, it's all about trying to win that's championship. Not, that's not good enough for you? No, nah, because the other stuff he said made me think he's not coming here, what he said. All right. Well, I, you know what? There's this team um, happened to play in this little arena. No. Nah. Nah. Madison Square. No, they need the big three, and yeah. they need a point, and Chauncey Billups. Yeah, but you're seeing what's happening with the big three on Miami. you got to have guys around those yeah, three guys. But the big guys. three won I mean, Boston. That, that's true. You, gotta, you can't Tony, Tony, Tony Douglas is leading the NBA in three points. Okay, percent. so after that, who you got? But that's yeah, the Chandler. I mean, I understand your point, though, that he has the worst bench in the NBA. The worst bench. Nick's got a good bench. Let me ask you this. I was watching the interview this morning with Good Morning America. Yeah. Do you feel sorry for Jen Stern? I didn't see it. I'm going to try to check it out now. No, she's not. watch it? I know. I'm Look, here, here. I watched it this morning. I'm half and half on it because you want to what? He far opened the door. She went into the room, you know, the the relationship room, yeah. and then she wanted to quit, and so did he. Once you once you begin the process, and you become, and, yeah. and, and you let him do what he does, yeah. then I, I don't fault you a little she, bit. She denies that, but I don't know how believable. Exactly. I don't I mean, know how she, believable. She, she, she had some sort of contact. Oh, she's playing yeah. the role of the victim. I know her story. I know. I saw her waiting outside when the Rays beat the White Sox in the 2008 ALDS. She was waiting for one of the players. For some tail. She knows. She goes back. She has a history of going back to Chris Ricks at Florida State. Don't paint yourself with the victim here. Okay. okay. We'll talk about that today. Greg Barnes is going to join us. Wait, real quick. You know what's funny? Let's see what I'm saying. saying. This time. If she, let's see what I'm saying. If she doesn't do the interview, everybody forgets about who she is. So that story's been old news for a year. Yeah, exactly. Thank you.
She's trying to make Taylor. Yeah. Her 15 seconds were in 2005. It's 2011. Yeah. She's old. Nobody cares. She was just some girl that had a cowgirl hat and, and a low cleavage altar top on at a Miami Florida State game. That's why she's famous. She's thank, famous thank, for being famous. Thank you, Brent Musburger. Uh, yeah. Greg Barnes uh, joins us inside Carolina to talk about Harrison Barnes. What's the story? What, what had, how come he hadn't said anything? Mm. Uh, Jamie Dukes, NFL Network. We'll see what he says about Cam Newton. And uh, Tom Watson's going to join us for a few minutes uh, on the show today. All right, what you got, Q? Cam Newton, Chris Paul, uh, the Final Four with Michael Vick, and uh, who gives a damn news? Vick at the Final Four? Yep. And who gives a and damn And there news? will be no Wheezy's wrap up or Whoa. Wheezy's whatever. Yeah. Wheezy's doing that. the camera today, so he wow. can't man. So Somebody took that a little personal. Mean. Taylor, we had to take a straw poll today. Yeah. Wheezy's, hit, Wheezy's right. wrap up or Hitman's hit list. That's right. This guy's gotten a little personal, so wow. right, we'll talk about that today, too. Show before the show.